What's good y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am having a Dominican food mukbang. I have polo frito con hueso. My apologies for any uh, mispronunciation. So this is basically a fried uh, chicken chunks over beans and rice. And I have tres leches uh, as a little dessert afterward. I had this before once uh, when Q had it on her channel, so I wanted to have that again. Um, I don't know how this is going. I'm going to be very careful eating this, of course. I know I'm not supposed to eat anything too hard, but I'm going to be very careful not to eat any too big bites. But, And I am super hungry, and I, if this food tastes half as good as it smells, this is going to be this is going to be really good. And I probably won't do as much talk because I am really hungry, and I, this is a lot of food to eat. Trying to be as careful as I can with my jaw opening. <clears throat> I've never had Dominican food before. It's from a place called Tropicalia. Cafe, it's in Wilmington, Delaware. There's a Dominican restaurant. I've never had Dominican food before. I've had, had Puerto Rican food before. I had an ex-girlfriend who was Puerto Rican, so I got exposed to that. I, ha I have had requests for a Cuban and Haitian food. I would like to have that. But there are no Cuban or Haitian restaurants in my area. So... If I do that, it'll probably be like a vlog type thing. If I go to Philadelphia or a city where they have those types of foods, so. Hmm. Let me get some of this chicken. I'm gonna turn it off because I don't wanna force my mouth open long bigger than it has to be. That is really good. One thing I noticed was like a lot of Hispanic or Latin foods, their base is like rice and beans, which I love. And I love that like all different cultures have different bases for their food. Like Italian is pasta, Asian is either rice or noodles, which is interesting. But like Puerto Rican food I've had before. And even like Caribbean food, like Jamaican food. Rice is typically the base. I don't know what they do to that, to the meat, but it tastes, it's just, there's like a crispiness, there's a flavor to it. Mm. And this is my first meal today, y'all. I'm in the early afternoon right now. I've had to catch myself yawning a couple times. Especially at night. Like when you're tired, ain't not thinking about it. But let's prop up my chin every time. And thank you to everybody who had um, some good information on the TMJ. And just general things that I should look into. I'm pretty sure I have TMJ. I've had headaches. For such a long time in my life now. 
is headaches have been a problem with me for a while. Yeah, I don't know when it started. I had a couple car accidents when I was in college and I never went to like a chiropractor or like rehab. So I think because I didn't, I didn't feel any pain at the time, but I think something happened and it just lingered and then it led to like neck pain and now I get headaches. And there was a, I do have a close relative who does get migraine headaches, so. I think it's just something yeah, I got. This, the TMJ is connected to it. I'm gonna go to like a doctor, chiropractor, orthodontist, or all the above, and just get some general information. Still gonna wait a few days before I have anything like a burger or a sandwich where I have to really open my mouth up too wide, but now I know that cake might do a number on my stomach, but I'm willing to take that risk. So good. Just did my fantasy football draft yesterday. Pretty excited about my team. Got some got some solid names on there. I'm really excited for football in general. My buddy, he's a Colts fan, and his boy uh, Andrew Luck just retired. So I've been giving him. <laughs> I've been talking a lot of smack for him. He's trying to act cool and collected, but I know he's mad on the low. I was a little bit like, 
But I was there when we went to go see them play. It was a preseason game. I don't know if you've seen him outside of that, but he did get to see him play, which was probably, which was pretty cool. Kid's 29. He's getting beat up. He's getting hit all the time. You got to look out for your mental health in the future. I get there are a lot of rules to protect the quarterback, but listen, he's a multimillionaire. He has more money than he'll ever need in his life. Why well, keep taking hits if you're going to be constantly in pain all the time? He's been like rehabbing all this other stuff for the longest time. Too many football players are getting like, they have these they health issues. They get hit in the head. They get like all these mini car accidents every game. I'm going to try to have um, either my boy who I just mentioned or Q's dad on here as a guest to uh, just talk some football. I'm going to see if I can get one of them or both of them. I, lo I love just talking sports. Some of this stuff does bother me. A lot of the money talk, there's like all this contract negotiations and all that. Like, you're getting paid millions of dollars, man. It's crazy. When you're a kid, you realize, you think these guys are heroes. And then you get old and you realize, listen, they just want money. Very few of them are in it for the love of the game once that, once that money starts rolling in. I can't say I would be any different, but... As a kid, when you love sports, and then you find out that it's they don't love it as much as you do, it's a little bit upsetting. They have put a lot of work in, so but that's just you know my relationship with sports has changed over the years. <sighs> I don't take it nearly as seriously as I used to. Not even close. Oh man, they put so much rice in there, man. Got enough rice for an army in here. But yeah, I'm gonna try to have them on there. And I just love having good con. Those are two guys I love having. I got good conversation with. Like I don't have a lot of people in my life. I don't. I, but the people I do have. In my life that I talk to, that I hang out with, I love them dearly. We always good conversation is irreplaceable. There's nothing like a good conversation. And I'm victim of it as much as anybody else. With the phone and falling into like the text and just like the kind of I call it this like disconnected conversation. It's not like one on one or you're even on the phone or just one on one talking. You don't get that passion, you don't get that back and forth. Where you're just kind of like you can interrupt each other, but like you're, you're having a discussion. It's passionate. You want to get your point. Then you want to hear their point, and then like you, your mind gets opened up. So yeah, and yeah, me and Q's dad, we have some great convos. Me and my boy Ryan. I'm gonna try to get. I'm gonna try to get Ryan on the channel. He's got a channel. He does like gaming stuff. Like Madden football stuff. Yeah, I love I love just talking to people, and like and having a good convo. And I don't think I like I don't know since I, don't know, I think that with technology it just made things too convenient. So some of those things have gotten lost in the sauce, so to speak. I'm excited about football starting. I like I like football now. I'm not as much like passionate about my team. I'm a Cowboys fan. An Ohio State Buckeye fan. The Ohio State, I should say. Um, 
but like when they like especially with the cowboys they literally like i became I, I hopped on the bandwagon after they won in 95 and they haven't done anything since so i've i've seen them win i think one or two playoff games since i've been a fan so it's been pretty pretty disappointing but it is what it is i'm I st i'm still loyal to them i still ride with them but win or lose i don't really care i just like hanging out with my friends on a sunday I have another buddy who I just watch football with. And like you're just hanging out. Maybe you have a couple beers. Eating good food. Like, well, not good food, but you know, you're eating food that tastes good. Wings, nachos, whatever. My boy I watch a lot of games with, he's an Eagles fan, as are a lot of people I live around. That's kind of also the reason I got became a Cowboy fan. It's because growing up on a little, everybody was an Eagles fan. And they're just so cocky, but they didn't have any Super Bowls or anything. Like, and y'all bragging over what? But yeah, it's good fun and I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna pack that up, eat that later, but that was good. That They put so much rice in there, but I'm gonna dig into some of this cake now, so I'm gonna move that on over. All right, so we got a tres leches cake, which is like a three milk, like dairy-based cake. There it is. Mm, so soft. So soft. I'm probably not gonna eat all this. One, because of my stomach, and two, I just wanna save some for later. It's got like this creamy sweetness, so it's hard to describe. Mm. There's like this sauce on the bottom, like this, like a mess, it has to be milk. It's not sauce, it's milk. I love having dessert after like a big meal. It's perfect. I don't do it enough. And I've said that before, but like it's it's just I don't know, it reminds me of being a kid. We would have a nice meal and then I'd have like some ice cream, some fruit. Perfect. And have one more bite of this. Mmm. That's good. I'm going to save that as well for a little later tonight, for a little late night snack, a little late night sweet. Thank you guys again for uh, joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. I'm um, going to be back and see you all tomorrow. hope you'll have a great start to your week on this Monday. I'll see you all tomorrow. Be well.